Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can transfer files between a Windows PC and a Kali Linux machine. And the tool we're going to be using here is called uh, FileZilla. So this is a quick way for us to transfer files. Before we can start the transfer, we'll need the FileZilla client. I'm already logged into the Kali Linux machine right here, but I'm gonna need to install that client on the Windows PC. So I'm gonna open the browser. This is the Windows PC. And let's search for FileZilla download. So this is it. And we wanna go to the FileZilla-project.org. And we we'll need to click on this FileZilla client. There's a FileZilla server. In our case, the Windows PC is gonna act like the client and the Kali Linux machine is gonna act like a server. We'll need to enable SSH on it and that's all we need to do. And then we'll need to put input some login information on the client. So let's go ahead and see the process. I'll click on this and click on this. Now you have four different options. The last two here, the FileZilla Pro, these are paid versions. If you try to download this, you'll see it's gonna show you the price. So let, let's go back and click on this. We just need this, the first one here. All we need is the SFTP, which has which should allow us to transfer the files in a secure manner using SSH. So it's not recommended to use plain FTP because it's not secure. So we are going with the SFTP and it's included. So I'll click on this to download. And it should be a quick download here. And it's done. So I can just close this. I'll go to my downloads folder here. And uh, here it is. Now to, inst to install it, I'm just gonna double click on it. I'm gonna click yes to allow the, this app to run. Uh, let me minimize this. And then here I'm gonna click agree, accept, next. And I'm gonna go with the default, next. I'm gonna go with the defaults here, next. I'm gonna go with the default destination folder, next, and then install. And I'm gonna finish. And let me go ahead and open it. Let me just close this. And this is it right here. This is the client. Now, as you can see, I can see the folders that are on this client machine. You can adjust the windows in here to your liking. I'm not seeing anything on the server side, which is the remote side because we need to connect to it. Now we need the, the IP address, which is the host. So if you hover your mouse, it's gonna tell you the, what you need to put in here. It says enter the address to the server. And then you need to have a username, you need to have a password on that server and then the port. So it says the default for FTP is 21, but if you're, use, if you're using SF, SFTP, you need 22 for SSH. So let's just put 22 here. Now the Kali Linux machine, I'm gonna open the terminal. We'll need the IP address. And then you'll need to, of course you'll need to know your username and your password. So IP address, you can get it by IP address command. So it's 172.16.1.13. So let me open this. So 172.16.1.13. And I know the username and I know the password. So if I open PowerShell on my client machine and I do IP config, the IP address is different, it's 172.16.1.11. This one is dot 13. The two devices are on the same local network and I'm able to reach that IP. You wanna check that, make sure you can ping that IP for the server. So let's do ping 172.16.1.13 and I can ping it. Let's stop that and control C. Now that I know that I can reach it, let's go ahead and do click on this to connect to it. Click connect. It's gonna ask you if you want to save the password. You can save it if you want. So it's giving me an error could not connect to server. Waiting to retry. 
So it's running this command that's failing. So in that case, you just want to make sure that SSH is running on the server. Let me go to Linux and do system tl status SSH. And it says it's inactive. So I need to start it. I'll do system ctl start SSH. And I'll put in my password. And let me rerun system CTL start as a search again. Now it's showing me that it's active and running. Now, once I verified it's running, I will go back to FileZilla client and then I'll try to reconnect again. Put the port 22, reconnect. Now I'm getting a different pop up window. It's saying the server, so host key is unknown. And if it's asking if I trust it, um, yeah, I do trust it. I'm gonna click on this, always trust this host. I click OK, and it's trying to connect using uh, username Kali, and it was able to connect. So successful here. Now that we're able to connect, we can see the directories on this server or the Kali Linux machine. I'm seeing the directories or the folders. Um, this is the user, you know, can expand this. And I can see the desktop. Okay, I'm seeing a user Kali. And if I look at the desktop, I'm seeing these files, which are the same files I have here. So I have Google. I have, uh, for instance, I have this file right here, test one pickup, it's right here. Now, when it comes to transferring, all you have to do is click on the file and drag it to the other device. For instance, if I wanted to move this test one pickup to my PC, and let's say I wanted to put it in my, um, uh, let's go with the, say I wanted to put it in my, Let's say I wanted to put it on my desktop. What I'll do is I'll click on this, I'll drag it, put it here. Now on this PC on my desktop, I should have this one. If I click on this one and go to desktop, I have this file showing today's date. And uh, we can go the other direction also. I have a tempsystem.txt file here. I can move that to, to this directory, which is this one right here. All I have to do again is to click on it and then drag it and drop it. And there it is. Okay, let's move to another direct. Let's try one other file here. I'm in the root directory. Let me go to boot here. And let's find a small file. Uh, map, system map. And let's move it. I'm able to move it to the Windows PC. There it is. So that's all for this video. That's how you can move files between the two systems using FileZilla. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.